Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of endometrioma. A 24 years old female patient came with dysmenorrhea, predominantly pain in the left lower abdomen. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here is the transvaginal sonographic image. You can see the uterus is normal in size, but the endometrium appeared thickened. The endometrial thickness was around 17 mm. During the scanning of the cervix, we have found a well-defined tiny anechoic cystic structure within the posterior cervical myometrium, indicating it as a Nabothian cyst. Here is the picture of the right ovary and you can see the volume is within normal limit. Here is the left one and you can see there are tiny follicles within the normal sized ovary. When we were checking the left ovary, we have seen a round to oval homogeneously hypoechoic mass. There is fine low level internal echoes within the mass lesion. This homogeneous fine low level echoes within an adnexal mass goes in favor of endometrioma. This is the concealed menstrual blood within the adnexal region. If you check it, you can see this lesion is attached to the left ovary. Here is the picture, you can see this endometrioma within the left ovary. The lesion is around 24 by 18 mm. When we are putting the color Doppler, you can see there is peripheral ovarian vascularity, but there is no internal vascularity. You can see a tiny signal here, which appeared to be adjacent ovarian vessel overlapping the endometrioma. Here is the picture, you can see the endometrium on the left side in short axis and this is the color Doppler image showing no internal vascularity. So in summary, a well-defined round to oval hypoechoic homogeneous mass with fine low-level internal echoes is noted at us to the left ovary. Color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. This feature suggested as a case of endometrioma or chocolate cyst. There was also findings like thickened endometrium and tiny nebothian cyst. Now the take-home message. This was a transvaginal ultrasound scan where you can easily detect the endometrioma. But in case of transabdominal scan, it sometimes look confusing. So at that time, decrease the gain to make the urinary bladder anechoic. When you decrease the gain, the adjacent simple cyst will become anechoic like urinary bladder, but the endometrioma won't. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.